an example of a shop where your goods can sell out so you can't buy it multiple times you can only get it once and then done so that's what this is so i've already got my little shop set up as you see i added a shopkeeper i named him shopkeeper and then i have this little cat here and i did something very simple i literally i'm just gonna have the cat give me 10 gold um so that i can use it to buy things <laughs> So as always, click on your invisible actor. Right now there's nothing going on, so we're just gonna start from the beginning. And we're gonna say, shopkeeper gives choices for, welcome to the weapons shop. How can I help you? In case, Okay, so right here, under the first option, we're gonna say, if hero has token rusty dagger already, then the shopkeeper says, sorry, we're all sold out. And now we're gonna do an else right here. So if you don't have that rusty dagger yet, we gotta check our money. If your number of gold, oops, gold is less than one. Shopkeeper says you don't have enough money. Perfect. And now we're gonna add another else statement right here. And it's gonna say, I don't feel like typing invisible actor one, so we're gonna just say invisible actor one says, you hand over one gold, you know, the whole shebang. Hero, number of gold decreases with one. Hero receives token rusty dagger. Also say you receive rusty dagger. Wow, I'm typing so terribly right now. I apologize. And then you know the whole shebang. Hero swing weapon ability becomes active. Hero swing. actor say your attack is raised by two and then pleasure doing this okay so what this means is when we first walk in and we have nothing no money no rusty dagger we select that we want to buy the rusty dagger right and then um, it's going to skip this statement because we don't have the token rusty dagger yet it's gonna come down here to the else and start the second if if hero number of gold is less than one well ours is so <laughs> he's gonna say you don't have enough money and that's how it's gonna play through so let's just go ahead and try that real quick welcome to the shop have a nice rusty dagger you don't have enough money Perfect, we did it right. Well, we're gonna talk to this little cat. The cat gave us 10 gold. Now we're gonna go back. Welcome to the weapon shop. How can I help you? Rusty dagger, you hand over one gold. You receive rusty dagger. Your attack is raised by two. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, perfect. So since we added the um, sold out button as well, when we talk to him again, we try to buy this weapon sorry we're all sold out so there you have it it's that easy 
I know it seems like a lot of writing, a lot of lines just to get little bits of talking, but it's it's very important to make sure you utilize these tokens and the variables that you're allowed to work with. It's what's going to make your game more professional. I'm also going to add a second option for a dagger and then a done button in case you just don't want to go through it like at all. So click, copy. So right here where it says in case rusty dagger, we're just going to change that to say dagger because that's our second one. If hero has token dagger, shopkeeper says, sorry, we're all code. If hero number of gold is less than five, shopkeeper says we don't have enough money. Else invisible actor says, my favorite part about copy and paste is that it's so easy. After you figure out everything and it works with your first option, it is such a breeze to just be able to add more options, more than two, more than three, you know. I just do two as a time saver <laughs> um, for these videos, but I like to give a couple more options in there. Ability increases by four. Your attack is raised by four. Shopkeeper says, pleasure doing business with you. Perfect. So the same thing that happened with the first one should happen with the second one. Now, the last thing we're gonna add is a done button. So go ahead and done four spaces, four, and write in case, done. And that's it. Let's just try this out. Press okay. Oops, I always do that. Okay. Welcome to the weapon shop, how can I help you? Rusty dagger, dagger, or done. Let's select dagger. We hand over five gold. Your dagger, dagger is raised by four. Pleasure doing business with you. Now, no matter which one we choose, he's gonna tell us he's sold out. Sorry, we're all sold out. Sorry, we're all sold out. And just because <laughs> we're gonna select done, it just closes out the box so that you can go on with your life in case you're like me and you accidentally run out of doors and accidentally run into shops. Um, <laughs> when you're trying to leave. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed this weapon shop variation part two. Um, more videos to come in the future for sure. I love doing this. And if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Um, if I know how to do it, I'll make a video and I'll upload it. And hopefully it just helps you guys have a better understanding of RPG Playground. Because it can get a little tricky, but honestly, it's one of the easiest things I've ever used to build an RPG game. And I just, I absolutely love it. Like, hands down, Coed, you are the best. Thank you so much. Yeah. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.